This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create triangles with Illustrator. Creating triangles with Illustrator is a little tricky because unlike squares and circles and other shapes, there's no dedicated tool for creating triangles, so we'll have to use tools that were meant for other shapes instead. So we'll go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. The first thing we want to do is grab the uh, polygons tool, which is hidden over here under the rectangle tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that rectangle tool so we get this little fly out menu and I want to choose polygon over here. And with the polygon tool selected, I'm just going to click on the canvas once so we get this little pop up menu where we can adjust the settings of the polygon. And where it says radius, I'm just going to leave that at, at whatever it is. It doesn't really matter what the radius is. The sides, that's what we want to pay attention to. I'm going to change that to three. And when I click OK, if you notice here, it creates a triangle on the canvas. Now this triangle is an equilateral triangle, meaning all three sides are equal in length. If you'd like to edit this triangle further into an isosceles triangle or a triangle where uh, only two of the sides are equal in length, you can come up here to the selection tool and you could take this node right down here and just bring this down. And if you notice, it's changing the length of the two sides up top and they're remaining equal, but this side over here is staying the same. Now, if you want to take this triangle and turn it into a scalene triangle or a triangle where none of the sides are equal, you can edit this even further by grabbing the direct selection tool and clicking and dragging over a corner over here like that, and then just clicking and dragging that however you'd like. And then you can change the angles and the length of the sides of this triangle however you want. Okay, now let's talk about making a right angle triangle because in order to make a triangle with the right angle or a 90 degree angle, uh, you're not going to be able to use the polygon tool to do that. You're going to have to use something else. To do that, let me take this. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to come back up here to the polygon tool. I'm going to right click that. And now I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to hold shift and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly symmetrical square, uh, square like that. And once we've done that, I want to come back over here to the direct selection tool and I want to click and drag over one of these nodes up here. And then up here in this toolbar where it says remove selected anchor point, go ahead and click on that and it's going to remove that corner. And we now have a three sided object or a triangle. And as you can see, it has a right angle right there. So that's how you can go about creating a right angle triangle in Illustrator. And one last final thing I want to show you is how you can go about making um, a triangle with rounded corners. Now if you come over here and you zoom in, I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the keyboard a couple of, I'm sorry, hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. And if you click on the object to select it, you'll notice these tiny little round blue access points within each corner. If you click and drag on that and bring it in, you'll notice that it's rounding off the corners of the triangle. And if you let go, it finalizes it like that. Now I'm going to press Control Z to undo that. Let me bring it in a little further. And if you bring it all the way, you can notice it turns it into a circle. So try not to go too far with this. Right there is what I'm looking for, a nice rounded triangle. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating triangles with Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.